Turbo. What did you do? What did you do, baby? You can't even see you. Everything's all backlit. Hey, what's up, garden and friends? Jeff here, how's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm great, just out here making a mess, as always. Been busy moving things around, doing some transplants, some repots, trying to get things rearranged with my drip. And I was about to plant up these seashell planters right here. And I was like, I should probably film this. I always have. I haven't planted them up the last couple of years. So that's why there aren't many videos on them. But any other time, it's always been a thing. So I had dirt all over the place from all the other repots I had been doing. I was about ready to sweep it up so we could have something great to look at. And the swamp monster came over just dripping in water while I was setting things up and shook everywhere. And now it's all wet. There's no sweeping that up. And then there's Toby who figured that's a great place to lay. Look at that. Nice, wet, muddy ground. Perfect spot to take a nap, right, Toby? That's okay. He needs a bath anyways. Here's what I'm working on. Right there isn't much else to it. I'm going to plant up these seashell planters. I have a whole bunch of succulents, most of which I picked up on clearance. So some of them are kind of stretched out and lanky looking, but that's all right. You can clip them back and just make them work. Make them fit. I'm going to plant these up. That's it. Just fun, relaxing. First day of summer. Happy first day. It's not, by the time this video comes out, it's not the first day of summer. It's like the day after, but I mean, you get my point. Happy first day of summer, everybody. Finally. Toby, come on. Come on, Toby. Let's go inside. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you can't see. You can't stay there. You're right in the way. Come on in. Turbo, you come too. Now, I've had both of these planters for know, a long time. I got them the same time I got the clamshell planters that have been in other videos. And I was going to ask where they're from. These, I'm pretty sure, are from Grandin Road or Front Gate. I doubt they sell them anymore, but there it is. If anybody knows a similar place where you can get these seashell planters, let us know down in the comments because people always ask about them. The only issue that I have with them as far as getting them planted up is that the back end you can see here is it's, it's really really high so it's difficult to get these planted up with low growing plants and have it still look nice so i may end up possibly moistening some soil and trying to bring that up higher that might be a good idea because the majority of what i'm going to the succulents they're all very rosette shaped they're not going to really stick out from the top and since they don't need to be watered all that heavily i think that if i were to pack this full enough having the soil raised up here that i don't I don't think the soil would wash out. I'm gonna think about that for just a minute. Try and come up with a plan of action there. I haven't put succulents in these in a long time for the reason that I just explained because this is the slope right here. It's kind of obnoxious to work with. I've already loaded these up with potting mix. It was pre-moistened, not heavily, just a little bit. It's all-purpose potting mix. I added some perlite in there so that it will drain better because, you know, succulents don't wanna be sitting in damp conditions. I've thought about it. I think sloping the soil up is probably the best plan of action here. Oh, and sand. There's a good amount of sand in here too. And you can see, see what I'm talking about? So this is about as high as the soil should be able to go, but then it has this great big lip right here. So it doesn't, you get it. I don't need to explain it anymore. Here's an Echeveria, Prol von Nuremberg, maybe? I really don't know. They're just assorted succulents that were in baskets. So you see how this one has started to stretch itself out? It's up higher than it needs to be. It's because I did have these sitting in some shade. So I'm going to remove some of the lower stems on here. And then I will, you can't actually just plant it. You don't have to make a cut, but I think that I'm going to take my clippers, about an inch of stem there, and just make sure that's poking down into the soil. That's it. That'll reroot and look just fine. I think all the etch of areas that I have here are pretty stretched out like that. See, this one's got a bunch of crispy stuff on the bottom that'll just pull right off. Let's go ahead and get that junk out while you can get in there and reach it before planting it up. Oh, and all those leaves or leaflets, I should say, that I've been pulling out, literally just set them on top of some soil or vermiculite, something that'll hold on to a little bit of moisture. They'll put out roots and you can grow more of them if you're a very patient person. I'm not that person. Just scoot a few things around because I forgot I have this nice big Echeveria, I assume Echeveria, Echeveria looking plant to go right there. Move that one forward. Getting a lot of color. I don't know if I want that one in there. We'll see. Go tuck a little sedum in there for some more detail. Do I have any more of the big etch of areas? That would be nice because that's not working for me. There we go. That's a little bit more my speed. Much larger, more robust. Okay, so this one has stretched out quite a bit. I could trim it back, but that height is actually 
working out well in my favor here, so I'm just gonna leave it be. I think it's fine. I have no clue what this is, absolutely no idea, but it's going in there. Take this one, scoot it back just a smidge because I would like to work in this Tradescantia here. This is a Tradescantia Nanook. Grew these from cuttings back in the springtime. That will come over the edge. Do I need one on the other side? Well, it's gonna come over the edge that's not even visible huh what not a big deal i have another one that i think i can get in here i can make that fit i will come over and drape down with all these others right above it hey off to a good start oh planting up succulents it's so quick and it's so easy and everything just ends up being so lush and full with very minimal effort you really can't go wrong as long as you have like three different types of plants it's going to look really nice Okay, get this little one planted up. That's just sitting there. I don't I don't want that in there. As low as the tripod goes. Wish I could get a better angle for everybody. Sorry about that. This really, I'm not gonna be able to put very much in there. So do this fuzzy one in the back for some height. Get hesitant with the fuzzy succulents sometimes, just because they tend to be the ones that rot out the fastest. They're usually the ones to go first if things get too wet why I decided to put it here in the smaller planter as opposed to that bigger one up there because I figure the soil in this should dry faster than in the other one. Get this aloe, whatever this one is, down in there. Look in another one of these little guys in there for some texture. Yeah, I'm good with that. I, I would like, I should revert. Crap. I don't want to do one of those Tradescantias in here only because with the Nanooks, this one up there, very top of the screen, they can get growing pretty intensely, even though this isn't going to be quite the right light for it to do that much growing. I still think that that would potentially cover up the entire side of the pot if it takes off. So I'm going to go with these clippings I have here from my sedum morganianum. There we go. Nothing to it. Gotta love succulents, right? They're looking nice. Pardon all of the mud. I have this much time until I'm in full sun is like maybe 10 minutes and this time of year the camera just doesn't work in the sun overheats very quickly so i have that all cleaned up for next weekend's vlog that and as soon as i'm done with all of this i'm going to be repotting stuff there's going to be more soil spilled in the spot so i figure i'm just going to leave it for right now and this entire area is getting a power wash for the weekend which will be in this weekend's vlog just all this stuff that's going on over here but as far as these two containers are concerned pardon the dog He's not very happy about being trapped inside, but with the tripod this low, he can't be out here. I have both these containers sitting in a spot where they're going to be receiving just part sun. It's going to be filtered in the afternoon, which should be good for everything that's in here. The Nanooks can take a good amount of light. Really the Morganianums, the donkey's tail, burrow's tail, they can take a good amount. Since everything else were just assorted succulents, like I said, I think those are Pearl von Nurnbergs. I can't say for sure. Could be some kind of grapidocetum right here. Could be an echeveria. I I don't know. Without a label, there are so many succulents that look very very similar. Just because the whole YouTube thing, I don't want to mislead anybody and say something is something that it's not. So that's what's going on there. So generally, to be safe with succulents, part sun, usually just fine. Filtered light in the afternoon, and they will be good. I'll just be watered when the top couple inches of soil feels dry to make sure they aren't oversaturated in, in any kind of way. General succulent care, these should be pretty low maintenance. I'm not expecting a ton of growth out of anything in these this year, especially since those echeverias are so close together. It does tend to slow their growth and hold them down smaller. You can see this one up here has more of a purple color to it. It was getting more light. The more light those get, the more that purplish reddish hue should come out on them. It's just a general rule of thumb with plants that have those colors in them. I can't say for certain since I'm not positive it's a Pearl von Nuremberg or whatever it is, the one that's in my head. I think you get the point. They look fun. Nice colors. Colors and textures and I've wanted to put succulents in these for a long time so I'm happy to have finally done that. Just a couple weeks ago, or really I think it was last week, I planted up a clamshell planter with a bunch of bromeliads and I started that video saying I don't want to put succulents in that it's a clamshell. That's been overdone. It was also largely because I wanted to save those succulents for these containers right here. So that's that's all there is to it. Just planting some stuff up. Had a good time with it. Comment down below, say hi. I hope everybody's doing well. Take a stab at identifying the succulents if you would like to, but just remember if we don't have a tag, can't say for sure. There are a lot that look very, very, very similar. I love those. They'll look even better when this whole spot's finished up and 
the ground's been power washed and there are a couple more planters over here. There's something that's fresh and clean about planters with succulents in them, isn't there? Even when I got all the spilt soil over the place. Those still look pretty good. If everybody's doing well, having a great day and a great life and everything's just going absolutely beautifully for you. And of course, as always, and most importantly everybody, keep on growing. Bye bye.